So whenever there is a, a steel building or uh, shelters, uh, we need to apply uh, wind load on that structure. So normally we will apply uh, as a wind load like this. So we will come to wind load and then uh, we will select the uh, type here. And then in uh, windward phase or leeward phase, uh, we will apply the load in this fashion. So once uh, you do like that, uh, the wind load apply in all the heights comes like even the wind load apply in the uh, bracing members also. So to avoid this, uh, there is a method uh, to apply the wind load correctly. So for that, what we need to do, create a group uh, wherein you need to apply the wind load. So all these uh, members may be in the windward direction uh, where the wind load should be acted that members make a group initially. So uh, that group name uh, in this model is wind one. So then afterwards you need to go to the editor file. In the editor file, the command uh, normal commands come like this uh, wind, lo uh, wind load in X direction one type one. So there you just add a list and give your uh, group name. So underscore group name, wind one. This is our group name. So remember that this cannot be done in uh, gra uh, our uh, graphical interface. Only we can do this editing in the command file, editor file only. So make uh, make, a, uh, make your group name, add your group name along with the command, command line here. Uh, list underscore your group name. So then close the editor file and now we can see how the wind, wind load is applied. So we can see how the uh, load is getting applied here. Uh, only that group where the members are created, they, there only the wind load application happened and even the bracing, num bracing members, uh, the wind is not applied. So in this way, we can apply the wind load in all the four direction uh, in the model. Thank you.